Hey everybody, what's up? I'll do another cooking vlog today because I've just finished uh, proctoring an online exam and it's time to make lunch for myself. So the other day, I ordered uh, bangus uh, sourced by my classmate Kathleen Lawas. Uh, they're getting it from Pangasinan. And um, so among the, uh, among the items I ordered are three pieces of uh, boneless tinapang bangus so this is it see and hmm, it smells good so i'll be cooking one and i'll be putting it in pasta so come join me in the kitchen so for this simple pasta dish i'll be using the boneless Tinapang bangus that I bought from my classmate Kathleen. I'll be using just one tinapa. I want to get a picture of this really nice uh, tinapang bangus from Pangasinan. And then I'll be using some artichoke heart and sunflower oil, some dried basil, garlic, salt and pepper, and of course some extra light olive oil. So on a skillet, saute some garlic in light olive oil until it's a little brown. So next, add your tinapang bangus. So I've fried the tinapa, pulled off the flesh, so it's easier to manage and it can mix well with the pasta. I realize that you don't actually need to add salt because this is already salty. Now to balance the saltiness of the pinapa, I've added some chopped artichoke heart. Now I've seasoned it with freshly grated black pepper and dried basil. Now if you feel that this is too dry for you, then add some of the pasta water. This is good for me. So I've used capellini for my pasta and now we're topping it off with the sauce. 